Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Wee. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, just no Do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. Anything. Yep, T Squad, you read the title right. You show did, you show did. Come on to the room and get ready to sip, honey. And you're going to be full when I get done with you today, okay? If you don't know who I am, my name is Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with a new Spill the Tea video. So Trevante Rose has been on everybody's tongue literally over the last few weeks since his latest film by Tyler Perry starring Kelly Rowland Mia Coppola hit Netflix he did a very mysterious sexy cocky role honey that had tongues wagging including mine okay that paint scene hmm yeah I loved it. <laughs> okay. He was very brooding in the movie, very moody, very masculine, very aggressive, very cocky, all of that. And it was sexy, okay? It was smoldering. Well, I remember talking to my good friend, my good Judy, my bestie, Monique, about him. And she was like, yeah, he married. And I was like, oh, he is. I didn't know that. She was like, yeah, I remember he got married uh, to his fiance. And I was like, oh, okay. And so me being nosy, <laughs> I went and Googled Trevante Rhodes' wife. And up popped this photograph of his then fiance, Mara Wright. So back in 2019, actually August 6, 2019, BET ran a story saying Moonlight star Trevante Rose quietly gets engaged. The Hollywood heartthrob is officially off the market. And then the column says it looks like the thirst for bird box star Trevante Rose is going to hit a bit differently for some as the actor reportedly just got engaged to his model girlfriend, Mara Wright. The YBF.com broke the news, reposting a photo of the couple seemingly taken right after the actor popped the question. The Insta story picture is captioned, congratulations. That is the photo that is up on the screen right now and shows Wright rocking a diamond ring on her finger with her arm draped around her fiance. In the slide, following the image Rhodes can be seen seated at a table with Wright's family as they all sing a song in German while their glasses are raised as for Rhodes alleged fiance Mara Wright she is a Los Angeles based Wilhelmina model and actress with German roots for her father is white and her mother is black she is also a trained martial artist Boasting talents in Taekwondo, Karate, and Jiu-Jitsu. Congratulations to the couple on their big news. So I was like, oh, okay. So he off the market. But then something said, hmm, let me go to her page. Let me see if she got an Instagram page. Because I was like, did they get married? Because I didn't see anything on Google stating that they actually got married. So I found her Instagram page. And I'm going through the pictures. And I don't see any pictures of them together on her page so I was like oh they broke up and then I'm scrolling I'm scrolling and I'm seeing a picture of her and a little boy and so something told me and my nosy self to start reading some of these captions and baby when I got to read oh I got a mouthful honey child now let me just start off by saying she been saying stuff huh she been saying stuff but ain't nobody talked about what she been saying because she says it few and far between, you know. But, honey, he hurt her. He hurt her. He hurt her bad. Let's get into the evidence, child. Now, this was the first picture that gave me pause because I was like, well, wait a minute. Maybe they did get married. So I read the caption. And I was like, oh, no, they didn't, child. So she posted this not too long ago, literally maybe a week or two or three ago. And she captioned it, my fiance broke up with me when I was three months pregnant. I left LA and I thought I left all my dreams there too. But look at me now, got to play a bride today. Funny how life works. Tough times don't last, tough people do. With the hands making a heart um, emoji. And I was like, oh, 
He left her while she was three months pregnant. Oh my God. What? And so she ended up leaving LA. And I'm assuming that she went back to Chicago. I think that's where she's based now because that's where he's based. And I saw um, a video or article, I can't remember which one, where he said that, you know, Chicago is where uh, his favorite place is and where he's mostly at. And I'm guessing so he can have time with his son. Maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. Because, you know, Trevante does not have social media. Now, mind you, when he did Moonlight and when he was on Tyler Perry's show, If Loving You Was Wrong, he had an Instagram then. But it seems like he got rid of his Instagram probably around the time he left her because he didn't want the bad uh, publicity and press. But it's out there now, child. It is out there. Let's continue. On August 18th, 2023, she posted this picture of her and her son. And she wrote, never thought that I would be an outside running stroller mama, especially since my ex told me I would have a full time nanny and never have to work with a crying emoji. But life has a funny way of showing you who you are meant to be. And I guess I was meant to be a bad A. Strong A mama. Being a single mom made me show up for myself instead of waiting for someone else to show up for me. Thankful girl so he was over there selling her a whole dream we gonna get married we gonna have a house you gonna have a nanny you gonna have to worry about nothing and then this man left her when she was three months pregnant now i'm not gonna sit up here and say that you're supposed to stay in a relationship for the children or whatever but i want to know like what was so bad that he left her while she was three months pregnant like that is horrible. But then it's like, it's never a good time to leave somebody in that situation because, okay, if he would have stuck it out during the pregnancy and then broke up with her afterwards, it's still going to be bad. It's still going to be bad no matter how you put it. But I want to know, like, why did he leave her? Like, that is crazy. Now, mind you, he they got engaged in 2019, right? So she had to have gotten pregnant around... Hmm, about 2020, 2019, late 2019, early 2020, I want to say, because this little boy looked like he about a good three years old. So she got pregnant in 2019, 2020. So he left her right around the pandemic time, which made it even worse. Holy moly guacamole. Let's continue. Then on April 25th, 2023, she posted this picture of her and her son and her girlfriends and their children. And she captioned it, celebrated my boy this weekend with all of my girls. I love you all so much. And I truly couldn't do it without you. Shout out to at Mona, Moni B Fit who flew in from LA. So it seems like that he wasn't there for the little boy's birthday maybe he did something separately but he wasn't there for this event maybe he wasn't invited we don't know but it doesn't seem like they're on the best of terms but he has acknowledged that he does have a son now how you know present of a parent he is we don't know you know what I'm saying because he seems to be very private with his private life child but he left that lady while she was three months pregnant, child, and sold her a dream. Good God. One thing I have noticed with Trevante during this press run of Mia Coppola is that his personality has changed since he did the movie Moonlight. Um, I remember him being more jovial, um, way more like lighthearted, free spirited. And with this press run, I see that he's a lot like the character in the movie Zaire, really laid back, doing a lot of smoldering and a man of few words. And it's like, to me, the Hollywoodness of it all has gone to his head maybe a little bit and he's drank the Kool-Aid. I'm going to show you two different clips. This first clip is from a red carpet interview of his seven years ago. And just pay attention. Granted, he was in his 20s um, at the time, like mid to late 20s. And of course, you change. But just pay attention to the difference in his mannerisms and the way that he acts. Take a look. 
translations on everything. So you're reading the script, you get Moonlight, and what page, what scene made you say, absolutely? I'll say page three. By the time you see that this kid is this person and he's struggling with this, you know. Like, I knew what my chapter was going to be before I even finished the first chapter. The third chapter was just, like, affirmation of who this person was, and it was so beautiful. It was just so, like, I've never seen that before. Like, it was gorgeous. Okay. With a story like Moonlight, do you feel like there's this other conversation masculinity that now you're obviously you're a part of what is that like now what does masculinity look like has it changed so much i'm hoping i'm hoping that you know i mean because like we try to mask like how we feel all the time just so we can put on this facade and be this amazing person all the time but it's really about being your truth you know living in your truth and being your honest self like when we do that like as a collective everything is going to be amazing i feel like i don't know so i'm hoping that people kind of follow suit and we'll see at the end, I was like, I wanted more. I know. It's weird it because, like, it's a home. long movie. And I was like, oh, that's it? I was kind of not. That's good, though. Uh, Makes you want more. And then at the same time, like, I like the fact that it ended the way it did because it prompts you to think and, like, again, want more. And I love films like that. So you peep how he was really talkative, explanatory, explaining things and everything, engaging. Now let's take a look at an interview he literally just did a few weeks ago while promoting Mia Coppola. Life really sinister. What was your inspiration just kind of making this person your own? Right, well, so when Tyler called me for it, it was maybe like a week or two beforehand. So uh, I think he understood my energy just yeah. as a man. And so I kind of... He knew I just needed to be myself in a lot of ways. And he just alluded to that being what we needed to do. So that's what we did. Now, Trevante, let me say, uh, you slip into this role so easily. You play Zaire, the suave uh, artist that's accused of murder. Tell us a little bit more about Zaire and what did you want to bring to the role that wasn't on the page? To be honest with you, brother, I think Tyler took my life <laughs> and just put it on the page. <laughs> I think he kind of like, owes me like copyright infringement something you know he owes me for that nah uh yeah man i was just uh embodying the words with my own essence as much of my essence my energy uh as i could and that's what we got i don't know do y'all see what i'm talking about like he was at a loss for words i was like, oh no and you know, man of very few words and just kind of lackadaisical, throwing on the whole, like, um, this ish, you know, you can't tell me that. His voice even mad deeper. It's literally like he's the character. And then you heard him say it was like Tyler wrote his life. So you a a-hole in real life like you was in the movie? Okay, that explains why you left old girl when she was three months pregnant with your baby and y'all was engaged. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my eye on Mr. Travante and just for confirmation, he did say in an interview while they were doing press for Mia Coppola, he did reveal his marital status. Now I know sometimes when couples play, um, you're married obviously. Mm -hmm. Are you married? No. Okay. There you have it. You heard it out of his own mouth. He is not married. He is on the market, ladies, if you want him. But he got a baby and a baby mom, my child. But he right around the corner for me and he in Chicago. So huh, next time I go to Chicago, huh, huh, I'll be on the lookout. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this. Let's talk about it down below in the comments section. If you are a man, would you be able to leave your fiance who is three months pregnant whether or not you fallen out of love with that person or you just didn't want to be with them anymore would you be able to break things off and leave that person during such a pivotal state in life and in your relationship or would you try your hardest to make things work Let's talk about it, y'all. Be honest. Let's talk about it all. Uh, make sure you guys thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.